protection. S pen holder. Kickstand. One year warranty. Military grade polycarbonate. Case four. Let's, Let's go. go. Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. Special thank you to Armadillo Tech for sending out the Case Born V Series case for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. I've been using it for a couple days and I'll tell you guys what, this case is flipping awesome. Let's go ahead and cut the music. Let's get this bad boy unboxed. All right, so first up, let's talk about the presentation here. Really nice box here. Got some nice uh, verbiage on the front here. On the back here, we uh, have mention of a one year warranty and the little slogan here, it's okay to drop your phone. So before we get started with the unboxing, I do wanna say this case retails for about 90 bucks. So it's definitely well worth the money. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy unboxed. All right, here we go. You get a lot of goodies in here. Let's take a look. All right, so we have a thank you card from Armadillo Tech based out of Texas here in the USA. We have a whole bunch of extra sticky stickums, you know, to keep the case on. This is really helpful for the Fold Series devices because they're notorious for having the cases come off pretty easily. So it's really nice to give you a bunch of extra here. So we have some installation helper packets for, let me get to it here real quick. Let's move the uh, box out of the way. For these, we have two tempered glass screen protectors for the front outer screen on the Fold 5, which is super awesome. These are the legit ones, you know, not those cheaper ones. So these pouches here are some uh, wet cloths, dry cloths, and dust removal tools. So you have two different installation attempts that you can use on this case. You have a little installation guide, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at the case itself. So as you can see here, this is a unibody design. We have hinge protection on the back. We have an integrated S-Pin holder right here. We're gonna go over all this stuff. And we also have a like felt lining right here to help protect your device when you put it in it. So let's go ahead and grab the Fold 5 and put this bad boy in there. All right, so you start with the front section here. We're gonna go ahead and line it up. Go ahead and drop it in there. And then what we do is we put the case together to where the hinge is kind of flat like this. All right, and then we put this other side on here by getting the hinge kind of you know, parallel with it, or perpendicular, I should say, 90 degrees, and this is gonna go on here like that. We'll get this up here on top, and here we go. We've got the uh, V-Series case all on here, folds up. I really like the way it feels when it's folded up like this. It puts it right in line with the same width as the S23 Ultra, which I'm a big fan of. I know a lot of you guys like to keep your uh, screens narrow and stuff, but I'm telling you, this feels really good in the hand. It feels very premium. So let's go ahead and take a look around this case. So we have this raised outer edge. So when you do lay your Fold 5 down, you're not gonna worry about hitting the screen at all. We also have a raised outer edge here on the back of the camera bump, right? And we also have two different indentations that come out here, two little bumps to help keep the Fold 5 flat on a surface when you put it down flat. In addition to that, we have an integrated S-pin holder right here on the side. So we can go ahead and slide this up like this. All right, let's go ahead and grab our S-Pen. Slides in there like that, just kind of sticks in like the original Samsung case. Slide it back down, you're good to go. In addition to that, we also have a kickstand. I love having kickstands, and I'll tell you why. My main reason for having a kickstand is right here. It's all about emulation gaming on the Z Fold 5. I swear, RetroArc, SMS, Emu, Dolphin, Man, I'm telling you, the Fold 5 just kills it with emulation gaming. So a kickstand is a definite win for me. Some other key aspects about this case is you do get that one year warranty. This is military grade polycarbonate. It's also using recyclable materials to help with sustainability. So good on you, Armadillo Tech, for helping take care of the environment. And they're also touting this as providing you a drop protection for your Z Fold 5. Let's go ahead and weigh this up and compare it to the uh, Samsung official case so you see what kind of bulk you're adding to your device. All right, we've got the S-Pin taken out, so we're just gonna weigh the case by itself. We're weighing in grams. All right, looks like 85 grams. Let's go ahead and grab the official Samsung case here, right, which offers you about one-tenth the protection as a case-borne case. All right, that's coming in at 41 grams, so it's basically about half the weight as a case-borne, but again, you get about one-tenth the protection. And the other thing, too, here's a big deal for me. I don't know about for you guys. 
But this S pin holder on here, eh, I don't know about it. I don't know. Let me see here. Let me get it in here and I'll show you what I mean. Come on. This thing in here, it kind of rattles around a little bit, you know, when you're moving it around, especially when I have it on the device. With the case foreign case, it is completely enclosed. So there is no way you're going to lose your S pin. All right, let's go over some pros and cons with this case before we wrap this video up. So the pros are, is the integrated S pin holder, easy access to your S pin, total security, military grade, one year warranty. I love the way it feels in the hand. Like that's not something that's gonna come through in video. This thing just feels really solid. The other thing too that I really like is the ability to have all these different kickstand options. Like we can use the hinge thing right here, kind of put it landscape like that. We can also take that same hinge mechanism here and put it up in portrait like that. Watch, let it just sit there, which is pretty awesome. So that's without even using the built-in kickstand. And with the kickstand itself, we have quite a few options, right? The typical stuff like that. We can go in portrait as well. We can go in this mode right here like this, and we can also go the other way around. So you have all kinds of different options with the hinge and with the kickstand. All right, so let's go ahead and go over the cons. So one con is the full retail price, right? $89.99, that's pretty expensive even for a foldable case, but I'm telling you guys, this thing is definitely premium. The only other con I can really think of about this case is when it's unfolded like this, I feel like it's geared a little bit more for left-handed people because when you hold it with your right hand and grip the uh, grip right here, the hinge part, it feels solid and it doesn't want to move at all. And the reason that is is because the hinge mechanism on this hinge protector is on the right hand side. So however, if you hold it with your left hand, like for those of us that like to write with our S pen with our right hand, this hinge part here, this hinge protector, it kind of moves around a little bit and it kind of wants to take the uh, front screen part off a little bit if you push it too hard. But do keep in mind that when you put the adhesive down, which I have not done yet, that's not going to be a problem at all. But all things considered, I'll take it considering how good this hinge protection design is. And the other thing I like is that it doesn't rub up against the hinge itself. That's been a problem with some other cases. They have a tendency to rub up there and leave scuffs and marks on the edge of your hinge. And you're not going to have that concern with this particular case. I think it's a pretty minor con really considering the build quality and how great this case looks on the device. So uh, Armadillo Tech. Thank you guys so much for sending this out here. I'm going to go ahead and start daily driving this one. I like the way it feels in my hand a lot more than this thing here. Honestly, you know, it makes it just feel more robust and it does feel like it could take a drop or two. So if you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop it down in the comments section below. I always appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.